She's not what you'd expect. She's tough and feisty, but gentle and tender. She makes millions and gives millions to the poor. She cries, she laughs, she teaches, she comforts. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Health. You actually really don't care that much about it until it's already gone. Have you ever noticed that? Once our health is gone, then we wished we had it. And health seems to be such a huge topic. Hi, I'm Danny Johnson. Welcome to the show. We recently discovered that there's a huge need. Not that we don't know that there's a huge need for health out there, but I'm talking about a need for you. Every single week, we get prayer requests from people asking us to pray for their health. And I, I'm telling you, an overwhelming amount. You know, every Tuesday night, there's a group of us that gather at my girlfriend's house uh, and her husband's house, and, and we just make this simple little post on Facebook, and we just let people know that we're here. We want to pray for you. We care for you. And, and um, we get anywhere from uh, probably on a low night, it's about 600 prayer requests, and then up to as much as 1,600 requests that we've seen. And, and a huge amount of them are all about health, meaning someone's suffering from cancer cancer, somebody else has diabetes, somebody else got into a car accident, somebody else is in a coma. I mean, it is overwhelming the amount of health problems that we see just from our friends on Facebook and, and faithful listeners of The Danny Johnson Show. And so we want, first of all, I want to ask you for forgiveness because right away when we would be seeing this, I said, hey, you know, we, we let's give away some, some free content. Let's direct them. Let's direct these precious people to getting some hope concerning health and learning how to take better care of themselves and, and uh, even understanding biblically about health. And, and we didn't have squat to give away because we didn't have anything to give away. So please forgive us. It's a huge need that is out there, and we have done nothing to speak into that need and to equip you to succeed. We are all about success, and we're talking about real success. We're not talking about that status quo of success, the success that our society has just badgered us with advertising for, you know, that says what? Well, you're successful if you drive a Lexus or a Mercedes-Benz. No, you're not, especially if you have a gigantic bill that goes along with it, not to mention the extra cost in keeping that car up. If you're financially independent, go for it. Have Knock yourself out. Have your Mercedes-Benz. But if you're in debt, you have no business being in that car, okay? It causes stress. And what does stress do? It destroys your health, okay? We're about real success, body, mind, and spirit, and soul. We are about healing emotionally, mentally, spiritually, physically, and financially, and socially, and relationally. We are about your true, full success, what have you got if you've gained the whole world, if you gain all this wealth, but your relationships are toxic and over the top, like atomic bomb stressful? What if your kids end up hating your guts for your entire life because you sacrificed them for money? Is it possible to have it all? I believe it is. I have experienced that it is possible to have it all. I've experienced that you can work part time and not put yourself under crazy amounts of stress and yet still make millions of dollars. I've trained many other people to do the same exact thing. In fact, you're going to hear a story here in the next few weeks. One of our clients, Jill Stevens, she was stressed out over her teacher. Now she's a multimillionaire working part time, still using her teaching. She's a tutor. Okay, who now has learned how to invest because she's invested into her skill sets. She stumbled on a website called dannyjohnson.com, the same website you stumbled on, and now the woman's a millionaire. Instead of just a few short years, you can learn the same exact skills that these clients have learned. You can do it, there's no question. But again, please forgive us because we're about success and one of the greatest, most important things about your success is your health. Because if you don't have that, you ain't got nothing. You don't have anything. And there's a purpose for you on, on this planet. And if your purpose is aborted early because of health problems, then you're not effective and you're not doing what you're called to do. So today, we're going to talk about the importance of health. Now, listen, I'm not one of those, you know, only eat, you know, fruits and nuts. And, you know, I'm not that person. I, I have some clients that are over the top concerning this health thing. And I mean, 
over the top, meaning it's become an idol in their lives. All you have to do is look at their Facebook page and you see them in a bikini or in some swim trunks constantly flexing and showing their bodies like, come on, move past this already. Yes, it's important to be healthy, but it's not so important that your whole life is consumed with your body, that your whole life is consumed with the food that you put in your mouth. There has to be a happy medium. There really does. And you know what? Ay, 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 ay. I have a confession to make. <laughs> Oh, I'm looking into some things right now because there is a reality and uh, there has been wisdom that's been available to us for thousands of years. In fact, 3,500 years, mm -hmm. 3,500 years ago, there was a eating plan that was set in motion that is still alive today, 3,500 years later, that has been proven scientifically, that has been proven health-wise to set our bodies up for the best possible health that we could ever ask for, hope for, or even imagine. All right, so again, I'm not about being this crazy, like, nutcase. You can't have any fat, I can't have any sugar, I can't have anything that's white, I can't have any gluten, I'm this tolerant, that tolerant, and this tolerant, and that tolerant. Oh, Let's just start with the basics and keep things simple today. So I'm going to be taking calls today concerning health. I am certainly not a health professional. I have been involved in the health industry for 20 years. I got introduced to that industry actually 24 years ago, and I'll tell you why. My family dies young. I mean young. 40s, heart attacks, cancer, liver disease. Now, of course, alcoholism doesn't help, you know, it doesn't help your liver. Certainly alcoholism doesn't help cancer. Uh, it doesn't help keep you away from cancer. But, but seriously, my family dies really, really young. And when I was 21 years old, I, I really started to go, I don't want to die young like my family. And I don't want to be obese like my family. And I don't want to um, have all, take all this medication all the time because of all these ailments. I certainly do not want that skin that looks like it has been rode hard and put away wet. I certainly don't want to, to live out what I see my family living out. And that's when I first got introduced to nutrition. I literally was looking for it. I started going into health food stores. It wasn't through any kind of a business or anything. I was living in Hawaii and I just walked into a health food store and I just started educating myself on, on things there. And I had worked at a health food store when I was about 16, 17 years old. And that was the initial. But this time it was like, you know what? There's got to be something towards this. And that's when I began to study and learn and I've managed to maintain my weight um, after losing 50 pounds the fourth time uh, and changing my diet and supplementing my diet with proper nutrition through supplementation. And I've been able to maintain my weight even after having four more kids. So I've had five kids. I'm, I'm 46, and a, 46 years old, seven grandkids, and I don't uh, work out. I don't lift weights. I don't do you know workout programs or anything like that. Um, and, and I'm probably not the model by any stretch of the imagination, but I have had a few things kind of figured out. And I want to share some of those with you today. Um, and again, I'm not a healthcare professional at all. All I can tell you is places to go to get knowledge so that you can help heal your body. And, and, and your body is designed to heal itself. As long as you're equipping it, it will heal itself. So we have some people waiting right now on hold. We want to just go ahead and do what we can to maybe help each other with our health. Um, so we've got Miguel Fuentes from Raleigh, North Carolina. Beautiful area, especially this time of year. It is super lush and green over there in Raleigh, North Carolina. Welcome to the show, Miguel. How can we help you today? Well, um, recently, last year, uh, September, I've been diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. Yeah. Diabetes. And, uh, yeah, it's really, really, really struck me hard in my heart. And... Mm. And I've been struggling to look for work because I know that I don't have health insurance. Yeah. But, um, you know, I'm starting to eat, to eat healthier every single day and exercise to really control my blood sugar. Yeah. And you do know that your blood sugar is totally controllable, right? Yes. Now, I have known of many people who have completely, through just nutrition changing what they're putting in their mouths, get completely healed of type 1 diabetes. Mm -hmm. They've extended their life because of that. And so prior to learning about diabetes, what were your eating habits? 
Well, before I got diagnosed, I've been eating a lot, and I've been so tired, and mm-hmm. and sometimes I, I got like a little thirstiness. Um, so after I got diagnosed, then I got to change my habits. I started to eat less food. Uh, I started to eat um, less carbohydrates. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. That's huge. You know, I know somebody that has diabetes also, and he drinks like a fish, and he eats all the carbohydrates that he possibly can, and he just injects himself with insulin. That is Mm -hmm. self-destructive behavior. So I'm happy to hear that you are not walking in that self-destructive behavior. So I have a question for you. Why do you want to live a healthier life? So that I can, you know, do the will of God uh, Mm -hmm. throughout the world and just um, to form missionaries and, and to work, you know. Yep, yep. Now, you do know that God lays out in the Bible exactly how we should eat, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. He does. And, and you know that your body, because you mentioned God, so I'm going to go for it, your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Mm-hmm. Your body. Mm-hmm. You house the Holy Spirit. And everything you put in your mouth is feeding either with poison or feeding and giving life. Food is supposed to give us life. Unfortunately, most of the food that's on the market today is poison. Mm -hmm. It's straight up Mm -hmm. poison. I wanna encourage you to do research, and I want you to find as many testimonials as you possibly can of people who have controlled their type one diabetes and even have been healed of type one diabetes through their diet, through diet through what they chose to put inside of their mouth. And I know that there's gotta be groups of people that gather and help to encourage each other on eating better. I would be using a portion of your time. I don't know if you watch a lot of television. I don't know if you spend a lot of time on you know, social media, but it's time to cut back on those things and get really, really serious and aggressive about bringing healing into your body. Because you have a vision, brother. You have a vision to help missionaries. You have a vision to be used by God. You cannot allow lack of self-control of what goes in your mouth to stop you from obeying that vision that you were put on this planet to fulfill. There's a calling on your life. Miguel, answer the call and live worthy of the call. Paul said that. Live worthy of the call in which you have been called. And part of that is taking good care of your body. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more after this. Be sure to tell a friend about The Danny Johnson Show. It just might be the key to the breakthrough they need. Stay right here for more of The Danny Johnson Show. Imagine living in a decrepit, unsafe hovel made of waste material on top of old mining tunnels that could explode and sink your home at any moment. Imagine no water to drink, no safe place to raise your children, no food for your starving baby. Imagine that your kids can't learn to read because they have to work to support the family instead of going to school. Could you imagine living in that kind of fear and hopelessness? This is exactly what families are dealing with in the poverty-stricken village of Santa Pancha, Nicaragua. These families can barely meet their basic food, water, and housing needs. We are transforming that village. Be a part of this miracle. I want you to go to the website now and learn how you can help. Go to kingsransom.org and click on Santa Pancha. There you can join with other warriors against poverty and help bring a miraculous transformation to Santa Pancha. That's kingsransom.org, kingsransom.org. This is your chance. This is your shot. Get your copy of War on Debt right now. There's one waiting for you that has your family's name on it. And inside that package is freedom. Your freedom, your family's freedom is on the inside of that package. All you have to do is open it up, press play, and start applying what I teach you in this program. 888-757-8880. You and I are going to help your family become completely debt-free in the next five to seven years. Just imagine how that's going to feel. If you knew you couldn't fail, what would you do with your life? Discover your own answer. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Danny, you don't understand. 
It's just the way it is. Okay, my family has all these health problems, so I have these health problems. Actually, I do understand. When I looked at my bloodline and I saw how many people died of heart attacks at 40 years old and younger, my sister died in a head-on collision at 21 years old, leaving a three and a half year old behind. I, I understand that yes, we can inherit some bad habits from our family. And that's mostly what we are inheriting is bad habits that lead to early heart attacks. How did my family have all these heart attacks? Drugs, mostly, then alcohol, okay? Just crazy, wild living is how they had all these heart attacks. Addicted to painkillers, addicted to cocaine, addicted to weed, addicted to everything that would pollute the body. And ooh, how did they die so young? They killed themselves by what they put in their mouths, snorted up their nose, by the lifestyle they chose. So you can't just accept your family's bad health. That is a sign to you saying, hello, step up. If the family typically has cancer, if the family typically has diabetes, if the heart disease runs in the bloodline, if obesity runs in the bloodline, you have got to become a fierce protector of your health, making wise choices and learning to exercise the muscle of self-control. You realize that we live in a world that the food quality is horrifying in the United States, especially above every other country. Nicaraguan food is so much healthier than the United States of America's food. Why? Because we have GMOs in our food. We have genetically modified organisms in our food that is polluting our children. Have you not seen the autism rise up in our youth? Have you not seen all of these new diseases that didn't even exist 20 years ago? But guess what was introduced at that time? GMOs. Why? Greed. Let's grow more food. Let's save money on uh, pesticides by putting cockroach DNA in the corn so that the bugs won't eat it. Oh, but we're going to eat cockroach DNA and somehow it's not supposed to affect our body? We were not meant to eat cockroaches. Do you understand? We're supposed to eat corn, but not supposed to eat cockroaches that are in the corn. It's disgusting. We're talking about health today because health and success are together. They are together. That does not mean that you become some crazy nutcase that I can't have this and I can't eat that and you're totally consumed with food and you're totally consumed with health. That means that you have a balanced approach to it because if you're thinking about your body and thinking about food, whether it's staying skinny or getting skinny, if you're constantly consumed about food and exercise, this has become an idol. I'm talking about a balanced approach. We are told Ancient wisdom tells us that we are supposed to care for these bodies. We're supposed to feed it well, water it well, love it well, not be consumed with it either way. So we're taking calls today talking about health because every week we get prayer requests. I'm telling you every single week we get prayer requests to the tune of hundreds and hundreds of them, sometimes in the thousands of prayer requests, most of them have to do with health. So we want to bring a show to you today about success in the form of health. Because without health, you have nothing. And you don't realize that no, no amount of money in the world can bring your health back. Oh, no, no, yes, it can, Danny. I can buy all kinds of supplements. No, have fun with that. You lose time. You lose money. You lose days off of your life because of the stress concerned about your health problem. Don't shorten your life by making stupid choices today. Stress is a big killer, friend. It really is. Stress kills you little by little every day. It shortens your life every day. Certain foods you put in your body cause stress on the body. They do. You might have some food allergies that you're not even aware of. Food allergies that cause stress on your physical body and that stress on your physical body now causes a health condition. That health condition, then you go to the doctor because that's what you've been taught your whole life. Your family went to the doctor every time someone had a sniffle. That's not what we do in our family. We've always treated um, what, all that we possibly can with proper nutrition, with supplementation, uh, with cutting out, you know, no sugar. Uh, I'm not saying there's no sugar in our house. I have a husband that has a monster sweet tooth who has introduced that sweet tooth to my children. Thank God that I've been the health, uh, the, the guard of the health uh, for the last 22 and a half decades. Otherwise, our kids would be obese and they would be very, very unhealthy. They'd have all kinds of terrible health problems. So, but I'm talking about us being wise with our body, 
wise with what we put in it and being knowledgeable. You know, the greatest success book ever written says that our, my people perish for a lack of knowledge. We need to have a good, healthy amount of health knowledge so we take care of ourselves. Rather than this, go to the doctor, he puts you on five different medications, all those medications are gonna kill off a certain organ that then it has to put you on five other medications because of the side effects. Come on now, it's a joke. And you're not supposed to live that way. We will continue with more after this. What multimillionaire do you know that volunteers their time to help ordinary people like you and me? There's only one. Stay right here for more of The Danny Johnson Show. I just heard this amazing story. One of our clients had written us telling us that they had used job domination and unlimited success and has absolutely exploded their career. He said, Danny, I don't know where I'd be today without job domination and unlimited success. Listen. Do you want more recognition from your coworkers? Do you want to be recommended to people all over the world? Do you want to be somebody that is highly sought after? Listen, if you're in a dead end place where this gentleman found himself, but then learned new strategies and changed everything in his work life, and obviously this has resulted in higher bonuses and pay raises, you're next. 888-757-8880. Get your copy of Job Domination right now. 888-757-8880. Again, 888-757-8880. Job Domination, that's what you need. It's time for you to dominate the job market and break through the rut that you're in. The way you look at things is about to change. This is The Danny Johnson Show. Health and wealth have to go together. They have to. You cannot have one without the other. So that's why today's show is about your health. We're taking calls from people who have some health concerns or even health knowledge that they can help you and I both succeed better in this place. Diane McGuigan, faithful client from Ontario, Canada. Diane, welcome to the show. What are your health concerns right now? Thank you, Danny. Um, well, right now it's all about my weight. I just I don't understand why I can't lose weight. I just seem to just continue to gain a lot around my stomach. Mm -hmm. And um, I really have been natural, like, since, like, the late 1990s. Mm -hmm. I rarely went to the doctor because I really didn't feel the need to. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I just don't get it. Like, I was always very slim, like my girls. And I know with age you do, you know, expect to gain weight, but it just seems like I'm at this place where I just want to get rid of it, and I can't. And okay. I did um, go for an MRI due to a, I did go for a physical, mm -hmm. and the doctor, I talked to him about um, the fact that my cycle actually stopped when I was quite young. Hmm. And... Um, that the t so he sent me to a specialist, actually, just mm -hmm. to check on it. Mm -hmm. And we're talking years later. Right. And um, she, you know, sent me for an MRI, and she saw that there was a shadow on my pituitary gland, mm -hmm. but she actually thought it was the machine. So she said, we're not going to worry about it. We're going to have you go for another MRI in about six months. Mm -hmm. Well, in that whole time period, then that's when I became suddenly very critically ill with the kidney stone. Wow. So the last thing that I had on my mind was going back for that MRI. So I put it off, put it off, but I did go back last July. And they never called me with the results. And with all that I've dealt with in the past year, mm -hmm. I just thought, well, everything must be okay. <laughs> mm. And I know that I need to follow up. I know yeah, that I need no to Yeah, no news. No news is good news is what you're doing. Okay, there's something I want to talk to you about. Okay. There's something I'm hearing you say, and it's something that uh, you have chosen to believe, and that is that as you get older, you gain weight. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean if Diane gets older, she has to gain weight. Have you ever noticed that there are women your age that are really, really thin, and then there are women your age that are about the same build as you, and have you ever noticed that there are women your age that are quite large? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so there are still very thin women. Absolutely. Okay, I've seen women in their 70s and 80s that are very thin. Yeah. And they look yeah. fabulous. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we know that it is possible to maintain some sort of good health and a good figure no matter how old that we get. Yeah. Now, 
This is what I would recommend to you. And again, I'm not a health professional, but I have dealt with my body with a natural way of living um, and staying away from certain foods. So this might help you, it might not. One thing is you gotta deal with your belief system. And if you have allowed yourself to gain weight, it starts with a few pounds here and there, and then a few more, and then the next year goes by, and then it's a few more, and then it's a few more, and then it's a few more. Um, this is a belief system that you have attached yourself to. This is, you know, as you get older, you just gain more weight, okay? So that, that belief needs to be rebutted, okay? okay? There's a certain percentage that, yeah, but why do you want to be in the bad percentage? No, I don't. You see what I'm saying? So yeah. there's this other percentage that doesn't gain weight, and their metabolism right. stays working fine, and that, those are the women to study. Those are the bodies, and those are the people that you want to hear from. So that's number one. Number two. You went a crazy, okay, and for those of you who don't know, Diane McGuigan, she's a, a single mother who came out to First Steps to Success some years ago and um, came out and using the strategies, she made a quarter of a million dollars in 12 months um, using our strategies, building a business. Um, and that prior to that, she was flat broke, had no food in her fridge, her oven was broken, she, the church was feeding her, her life was a complete disaster. She's got three children, these three kids are amazing, they are a powerful story. A little over a year ago, am I right? Is it a little over a year ago now? Time is flying. February 2014. There we go. She became deathly ill um, with basically it was kidney stones, but much further than that. Kidney stones are a sign of a, of, of a bad nutritional issue. And so what I would encourage you to do, you live pretty close to Crystal Parrot. I had her on the show uh, recently. I would get your blood read by her. I would um, have your blood analyzed because your blood, there's life in the blood and the blood actually shows what actually is going on in each one of your organs and where it is weak. What's going on with your digestion? What's going on with your hormones? Um, what's going on inside of the colon? And so, what, and especially because you underwent, you were in the hospital for how long? A month. Okay, so a month with all of those chemicals and surgery and all of this stuff that they were pumping through your body, all of that is stored inside of your liver. Right. And when the liver is not functioning properly, <laughs> it can't flush out toxins. So what is in your belly area is toxins. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they're going to continue to add. And so what, and what gets stored in our fat cells is toxins. And the to toxins continue to get larger and larger and larger. The, I mean, sorry, the, yeah, the fat cells get larger and larger and larger. And they're filled with more and more toxic waste because your liver is not optimal. It's not, your gallbladder is not optimal. So what has to happen is that you may need to do a liver cleanse. And once you clean out your organs, now your body will naturally be able to start to lose weight. Because even nutrition, even vitamins that you're taking, they're not getting absorbed into your system because your liver and your gallbladder is clogged up. And so when, when those organs that are the fleshing of the toxins are all bound up, those toxins then just get released into your system. And that's why you're gaining weight, typically why you would be gaining weight in your, in your stomach area. So uh, you really have got to put a focus, Diane. I know you're very focused on business. You're very focused on taking care of the orphan. You're very focused on your kids and your church and all of that stuff. But you really need to set aside, just like how you learned business from me, how you learned finance, you've paid off over $100,000 worth of debt, how you've done all that. You know how you've studied and you've shown yourself approved? Yeah. I want you to do the same thing for your health. Okay. Okay. You have yeah. got to get really serious about it because it's not so much. And I know for years, like, you know what? I'm still small because you are. You still are a very beautiful woman. And, you know, you still got these tiny little hips and these tiny little legs. And, you know, you've got a great figure. And you've kind of let yourself get away with that. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Instead of looking into, wait a second, how come I'm not as small as I used to be? And what is going on with my body? So there's natural and then there's seriously natural. Okay, then there's psychotic natural. We're not going to the psychotic natural place where these people that idolize their bodies and idolize food. Right in the middle, you need to be serious um, about your health, especially with what happened to you a year ago. And yeah. so I would get a hold of Crystal Parrot. Okay. I would start uh, studying some very natural forms of, of foods to not go near. Here's one last thing I would tell you. I would also, in your local area, go and get yourself tested for food allergies. Okay. Because you could actually be feeding your body poison, the food that turns into poison in your body because you have food allergies. And usually when you've had toxic waste building up in your body and a lot of chemicals in your body because of that surgery that you had, mm -hmm. um, now you, you produce, um, now you, your body is intolerant to things like tomatoes or like my daughter Erica, lettuce. 
She had that double aneurysm. She was born with a what they call an AVM. It's a tangled thing of um, brain cells in your brain. And so it exploded when she was 16 years old. Well, she had this crazy amount of surgery and, and she had radiation surgery. All that stuff was stored in her liver. Now, mind you, she starts gaining weight um, a couple years later and massive headaches and feeling horrible, you know, and she doesn't eat good. Now, she, she was trained to eat right, but you can lead a horse to trot the water. Can't make him drink. She made not the best food choices after she left home and became a wife. And now <laughs> she had her allergies tested. Guess what? Oh my gosh, she's allergic to lettuce. She's allergic to garlic. She's allergic to tomatoes. She's allergic to onions. She's allergic to all gluten products. She's allergic to all dairy, which I knew and I told her for years, do not touch dairy. Your body breaks out. It's a sign. Your body's telling you don't eat dairy. Well, there she is with the ice cream. You know, so so once this, uh, per, this naturopathic doctor uh, tested her for her, she has a huge list. She's allergic to beef. And all she loved to eat was beef and bread and dairy and lettuce, She's a big salad girl, lots of garlic in every single meal. And here she was hurting herself right away when she cut out the foods that she was allergic to. She felt unbelievably better. She's dropping weight. And more importantly, she's also now had her blood red. She's going through a liver cleanse. Huh. The liver cleanse will help to heal up all the food allergies. So I can't stress you enough, naturopathic, Get your blood red, find out what al food allergies you have, and start to cleanse your body and get very serious about studying and learning about health. Okay. Okay? What You are what you eat. Yeah. Okay? You are what you eat. And unfortunately, we've eaten a lot of toxic waste, unfortunately. Yeah. So we're going to get this all cleaned out, and, and you're going to look awesome, and you're going to feel great. Yeah. Yes. Awesome. I'm proud of you actually for calling in. I really am. I'm really proud of you for being concerned about it. And now again... Just take a few, you know, like you took hours of training to learn business and finance from me and relationships and you've restored relationships. Now it's time to restore the body. You've learned a ton spiritually from me. Taking care of the body is a spiritual issue. It is not just a physical issue. It's a spiritual issue because our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit and God gave specific dietary laws to us. Like don't eat pork, why? There's parasites in the meat. Even when you cook it, they don't die. So you're eating parasites. Ugh. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more after this. So what's keeping you stuck? It's time to get it out of your way for good. Stay right here for more of The Danny Johnson Show. Hi, I'm Danny Johnson. The most common question I get usually are from people who are trying to juggle their life. They've got kids. They've got kids who are involved in all kinds of activities. They've got business or their job, finances, trying to get out of debt, plus all their church activities and all the volunteer activities. And they're pulling their hair out going, how do I juggle this all? Man, I once lived just like that until I learned Time Secrets. Time Secrets showed me how to be able to cut my hours from 100 hours a week that I was working down to 20 hours a week and tripled my income as a direct result with what I learned. Time Secrets also showed me how to get my priorities in order, which healed up my marriage. And I became a mother that I want now was proud of versus becoming the mother I didn't want to be. And so if you feel like your world is running around in all kinds of different circles, you can fix that. Call 888-757-8880. Again, 888-757-8880 for Time Secrets. In your face and in your corner, you've never had a coach like this before. This is The Danny Johnson Show. You've heard this out of our mouths so many times. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. That has so much to do with success in every area of your life. And the area we're focusing on today is your body your physical body. It is so important that you speak life over your physical body. You and I hear people complain all the time about pain. I refuse to give life to pain. I refuse to give life to pain. Whenever I start feeling, let's say there's a sniffle that, you know, might be trying to come into my, to my nose or, you know, a muscle in my back is trying to talk to me. I will say my back is talking to me, but I ain't listening in Jesus name. I refuse to give life and power to that thing that is talking to me. Okay, if I eat something that's stupid, bad, wrong, like, oh, my stomach is talking to me. That's a different way of trying to, um, instead of saying, oh, I am hurting, because you give life to hurt or you give life to pain whenever you say, oh, my back hurts or my head hurts or my stomach hurts. Now we're speaking more power into hurting instead of standing against what is hurting. 
Life and death is in the power of your tongue. What you speak, you're going to get more of. And so what I like to say is, my stomach is talking to me. And I don't like what it's saying. So I rebuke you in Jesus' name or I solve the problem. I, I go and I, well, I, I love, I love, I love, I love essential oils. Man, I got introduced to essential oils back in 2007. I've been using them ever since. I got an oil for everything, man. Uh, everything. And it's not, don't be stupid, go eat something stupid and then try have to use an oil. But whatever, something does not agree with me or whatever, I've got a solution for it. Essential oils are awesome. I strongly recommend that you get a hold of those and you start learning about those too because they're really, 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 really potent and really, really powerful. I wish I could give you the name of the product that I use. But I have too many clients that are use all kinds of competitive uh, essential oil products out there. But they're amazing. Anyway, we're talking about your health because without health, you cannot have success. It doesn't mean be a freak about it. It doesn't mean be a Nazi about it. It means be balanced about it. And health needs to be part of taking care of you and taking care of your family, taking care of your future and serving God. You can't serve God if you don't have good health. Okay. So we're hearing uh, health challenges that people have. I'm not a health professional. I simply have been able to maintain some bit of good health in my life. I've made some mistakes in my life with my health. I've managed to maintain my weight after having five kids. I've reached that age where you know, everyone says, oh, you know, you're going to gain 50 pounds when you reach, you know, your mid 40s. Not going to happen here. <laughs> I'm in control of what goes in my mouth. That's the bottom line. And if I'm a little plump, it's because I put too much in my mouth of the wrong thing. I know exactly how to control my weight. I know exactly what my body responds to. I'm not a freak about it. I do eat and I eat well. Um, but, uh, it's not just fruits and nuts. That's for darn sure. Okay. We got Teresa Proctor from Florida. Teresa, how can we help you today? Hey, I was just calling um, to talk about taking time. Um, I struggle with trying to take time for myself yeah. to exercise, to get the weight off. Mm -hmm. um, I own a business, and I um, just have, you know, there's so much stuff going on, and it just yeah. seems like I, I take time for everybody else, but I just won't take the time for me, and I'm about 40 to 50 pounds overweight. Mm. And... Um, just struggling because I have health issues through my family. Um, lost my mom and sister and brothers, everybody in early ages, and I don't want to hit that. But I also can't find the motivation. I struggle with that. Yeah. Okay. So let me ask you a question. Let you and I fast forward five years. Okay. Hold on. And I want you to think about this. Let's fast forward five years, and you're living the way you're living right now. You are a slave to your business. Your business causes tremendous stress. You get pulled in 50 different directions all within a single hour. You snap at your family. You snap at the people you work with. You throw up your hands in utter despair or frustration. Your chest is pounding so loud you can hear it with your heart saying, I'm tired. Your stomach hurts. Your back hurts. Your joints are starting to hurt. Is this the life you want? No. So if you continue no. on this path in the next five years, what will your life look like? Um, I probably won't be here. If I keep it up. Yep. You're probably right. Either that or you'll be on seven different medications that are causing right. other problems. Yeah, it's just broken blood pressure and heart attacks run in my family and I don't, and I just, I'm, it's just not, not working for me. No, no. Teresa, I had to come to a place in my life where I said, none of this is worth it. It was 19 years ago. I had a heart attack at 24 and a nervous breakdown at 25 chasing money, building business. That's what I did. I hated my husband and he hated me. It was mutual. I didn't know my kids, somebody else was raising them. I was miserable. My chest was so tight all the time. I will never forget where I was when I had my heart attack. I was laying in bed. All of a sudden my left arm had this horrible pain that started in my chest, went down my arm. I thought my arm was going to explode and it turned purple. 
I came walking into the living room to tell my husband he had disdain all over his face. We hated each other. He's like, what? I go, look. He's like, so? I said, I think I just had a heart attack. Really? I need a ride to the hospital. I was 24 years old. And just like you, Teresa, my family dies of heart attacks really young. My uncle died of his fourth heart attack at 39 years old. But I still was playing with fire. That heart attack scared me to pieces. The nervous breakdown where I almost took my life, my husband saved my life, a year later. I hadn't learned from the heart attack, but I wanted to die. And so I was very self-destructive. And by the way, I was in the health industry. I actually manufactured health and nutrition supplements and Chinese herbal medicine. Yep, that was me. Living a lie. So I came to a place where I said, I don't care if I go broke. I don't care if I close down my companies. I don't care if I lose it all. I don't care if I'm the laughing stock of the universe. I don't care if I gain the worst reputation ever by failing financially. This is not worth it. I hired somebody to teach me how to manage my time. I learned time secrets. Time secrets taught me to cut my hours back from 100 hours a week down to 20. And whatever I couldn't get done in 20 hours just didn't get done. I completely surrendered to the fact that I was going to go broke. And do you know what happened, Teresa? I didn't go broke. I didn't. I actually tripled my income by cutting my hours back by 20 hours. I started to take baths, you know, in that bathtub that I had to have when I bought my house that I never took baths in. Yeah, I started to take baths. I started to roll around on the floor with my kids. I started to sleep a little bit. I started to live. I started to take walks. As soon as that stress and pressure came off, I started to see what life was really about. And it wasn't about money. And it wasn't about stuff. It wasn't about success. And it wasn't about keeping up with the Joneses or keeping up with my last month's big story. It was about living. So Teresa, you gotta make a choice. Choice has gotta be made today. You better change the way you're living. This is Danny Johnson. We'll continue with more after this. Don't go away. The next segment might just change your life. This is the Danny Johnson Show. For families in Santa Pancha, Nicaragua, life is filled with fear and struggle. They don't have enough food for their kids, clean water is hard to find, and they're living in a decrepit, unsafe hovel on top of mining tunnels that could explode and sink at any moment. But a miracle is in the making, and you can be a part of transforming this village. Go to kingsransom.org and click on Santa Pancha to see how you can help. That's kingsransom.org, kingsransom.org, and click on Santa Pancha. But I'm so blessed that I found what is in Grooming the Next Generation for Success. This is a book that is being taught in universities around the world. It's been noted as the best book on parenting that has ever been written. Crazy, if you ask me. But the point is is that this thing gets results. Get your copy today, 888-757-8880. Again, that's 888-757-8880. Or go to dannyjohnson.com. That's D-A-N-I johnson.com. Get your copy today. Be sure to tell a friend about The Danny Johnson Show. It just might be the key to the breakthrough they need. And now, back to The Danny Johnson Show. Wealth. I don't know if you realize the most of that word is the same word as health. Wealth is not just money, friend. It's healthy living. Healthy living, wealth of relationships the wealth of having great health, the wealth of living not a high stress life. We're all gonna encounter stress in this world, but not being addicted to that stress where we're always doing things and acting in a way that is creating more stress. And then we're attached to things that create stress in our life, like the car that has the car payment, like the giant house that costs so much money to keep up. Those things cause stress. Stress destroys your health. Health Bad health destroys your ability to create wealth. So friend, today is the day that you have to make new decisions. And you have to come to a place of realizing if you stay on the same path that you're on, 
What does your life look like in the next five years? Make a decision today to live healthier. Take a little bit of time and begin to learn some knowledge. There's so much more knowledge today than ever. Oh my gosh. I started learning about health 24 years ago out of just a need of not wanting to die young like my family had. I wanted to live a longer, healthier life. I didn't want to be having all kinds of medications just to keep me alive. I didn't want the poor quality of life that I had seen inside of my family members. So I began to study and learn about health 24 years ago. There's so much more knowledge today. Oh my gosh, it's amazing what we have available to us today. Ask Google. Whatever health condition is you have, I want you to know there is a solution and I want you to try to find that solution. And I want you to take time every week in focusing on learning and educating yourself so that you can make wise decisions with what you do with your time and what you put in your mouth. Because you and I put things in our mouth that cause poison to be produced inside of our bodies and poison in is going to cause poison out, which results in health problems like cancer. It results in health problems like diabetes, heart disease, pain inside of the body that is completely unnecessary. Now, I understand not everybody was born with the perfect bill of health, like myself. I was born with all kinds of deformities in my spine, inside of my physical body, and unfortunately, one of my kids got some of my genes with a deformity that she had inside of her brain. And so we are not all dealt the perfect deck of cards, but what we can do is we can maximize the deck of cards that we do have, and we can learn to play to win with what we've been dealt. All of us have advantages and disadvantages. Let's use the advantages for ourselves and let's learn how to overcome those disadvantages. There's always a solution. So please today get serious about improving your health so that you can be there to receive the wealth that you're trying to build, the wealth of relationship and finances, career, your reputation, all of those things. I just have to say I'm so grateful for you joining me today, and I really hope that today's show blessed you. And if it did, please, freely you received, freely share this on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Let people know about it, and please leave us a comment on our website right below where the show was playing if you were watching it online. God bless you, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Did you hear that last segment? Do you know someone else who needs to hear it? Go to dannyjohnson.com, find today's show, and share it online. The whole story of how I went from homeless to millions is right here in this book, First Steps to Wealth. I'd love to give you a free copy of this book. Just dial 888-757-8880. You can get your free copy of this book. It's like a real book, my friend. You can get an ebook copy for free right now, or if you'd like to pay the shipping to get this $15 book to your house, I'd be happy to send it to you. 888-757-8880. Get your copy of First Steps to Wealth today and begin on a brand new path of some great success.